Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a video of a Mi-24 versus an F-15 fight. It doesn't get more dissimilar air combat than this. Um, <clears throat> clearly, this is going to be a guns only fight. Otherwise, the F-15 can easily take me out from a distance. Um, in this case, I'm trying to explore strategies for engaging uh, a fighter flown by the AI. The strategy for flying against a human will be totally different and I'll say a few words about that later in the video. So right now my sort of proven strategy flying against the AI is not to fly at it directly but sort of at an angle, keep it, keeping the bandit at my 10 o'clock or so. And then uh, when we get close to the merge to turn into him and try to fire off a couple of bursts. So here comes the bandit. Sometimes in these engagements he does take a shot. This time he did not. He sort of couldn't track me and he veered off <coughs> to the right. So I'm turning to follow. And this type of a fight is frankly kind of boring. What typically happens is uh, we come at each other and then uh, you know we both take shots. Um, Maybe they land, maybe not, and then the fighter goes away and does one big circle and re-engages. So I'm kind of speeding the video <coughs> through these kind of boring parts uh, where there's just not much engagement. So the strategy though is to try to cut the circle and to force him uh, to, exp to expand his energy. So as soon as I, uh, as soon as I merge with him, I turn to follow, obviously he's much much faster, so <coughs> I try to to stay inside his circle and force him to come around. And then uh, here I got a, a, a landed a lucky shot and um, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna turn around and try to reacquire him visually. There he is, now it's easy because he's trailing black smoke. and. I'll follow him as best as I can. Once he starts his turn, I'm gonna try to, to stay inside his turning circle in order to keep him turning and wasting his energy and to prevent him from getting a clean shot. If you fly, if you try to fly straight at him, uh, the AI is a sniper, so he will take you out. So I'm following in a straight line. Now he initiates a turn to the right and. I'm gonna keep flying straight, in fact, I usually kind of fly to the left a little bit just to make him um, make his turn tighter. So now he's turning and I'm gonna just keep him in my windshield, I'm gonna keep track of where he's coming from. I'm also gonna go down a little bit. Um, he has a hard time, just like a human, he, he has a hard time it seems me out from the from the ground floor and now when he's uh, close enough I'm just gonna pop my nose and just take shots there's no great partnership here just take shots and and hope for the best so um, sometimes he takes shots too so be ready to sort of jink and and dive down or go up uh, <coughs> but uh, in this case I got lucky so he's now hitting hit twice, he's trailing white and black smoke and he's trying to disengage. So my strategy continues, I'm just gonna follow along. Um, I have no idea how fast he's going but I was going about 300 uh, kph and he was definitely, uh, you know, he was getting away from me. So I'm gonna, I tried to, to chase him down, in fact I kind of wanted to, to see if I can get information with him. but. Um, um, I'll speed through the, through the kind of boring chase here. You can see him hugging the ground way up ahead, trailing white smoke. So... Still following, following, and he disappeared. So I got a notification that the bandit had been destroyed. So it looked like he kind of went down in this, in this part, and I kind of slow down to look around and and see if I can find uh, where where the fighter went down but 
uh, I couldn't see anything except when I switched to an external view I saw the canopy and I saw unfortunately the body of the pilot he probably tried to eject too low so the pilot is dead uh, and I couldn't find the wreckage so just to finish off the sortie uh, I'm turning the head home um, and uh, just practicing my landings and uh, finding control of the of the hind. So, uh, while I'm landing here, I want to talk about the difference between engaging the AI and engaging the human being. Um, whether you're engaging AI or you're engaging a human, uh, whoever's flying the fighter clearly has uh, all the advantages. Uh, the fighter can come from above, uh, pop down, and the helicopter really has no chance because it cannot shoot upwards, at least not behind. Um, so the fighter can choose the engagement ranges, it can choose the engagement angles. All the helicopter can really do is just uh, try to minimize the distance and, and take shots. Of course the, the hind has a huge amount of firepower, so flying head to head with a hind is not advisable whether you're flying against the AI or um, against a uh, human opponent. Uh, but the thing about the AI is that the AI will not take a shot unless it's perfectly lined up. So that's your that's your uh, that's your cue here. You basically try to stay out of his direct line of sight and just pop in, uh, take a shot and then go left or right, just stay out of his direct sights and he will not shoot you down unless you give him that perfect shot. Now, human beings, of course, uh, even inexperienced pilots, would not do this. Uh, they would take pot shots, they would take uh, any opportunity to take a shot at you. So flying uh, head-on with a human, especially if the human is an expert marksman, is suicidal. Uh, so, notice that in this engagement, I tried to keep my altitude more or less high. I uh, did go down when the fighter engaged me, but not nearly enough, not nearly close enough to the ground. Uh, if I were to fight a human being, I would literally hug the earth uh, and try to survive that way. Uh, the closer you are to the ground, the closer you are to the trees and the buildings and whatever objects, try to hide behind terrain of some sort, uh, make it difficult for him to spot. Uh, the advantage that the AI has over human players is that it has perfect uh, awareness of um, everything in the, in the battle scene. It knows exactly where you are. A human being will probably lose you in the ground water and that gives you an opportunity to engage. Um, the other thing is human beings may or may not be willing to go down. Um, so here's another engagement. So I've done a number of these and they're eventually they become kind of relatively easy. Uh, from time to time the AI does take me out, but most of the time it's the same kind of thing. You fly a few circles, take a few shots, and the AI uh, is destroyed. Um, <coughs> but again, flying against the AI in this case is not a typical, a typical strategy. Um, flying against a human being will be much, much, much harder. So in fact, I'm very interested in trying this out um, with a live person somewhere on the multiplayer servers. I'll probably uh, see if I can pop in on one of the servers and ask somebody to recreate this. But for the time being, playing with the AI is kind of fun and it's not something that you know people have explored a lot so I think you will have fun in you know, you know trying this out on your own. Um, anyway, there's that fighter coming up again. Once you nick him, you know, he starts trailing smoke and then it's easy to, to hit him again um, to keep track of him. And apparently, uh, this second time around, uh, I hit him pretty bad because he literally disintegrated in, in the air. And fortunately, this second time, the pilot did jump. So we'll circle around, we'll come down and we'll say hi. There's the parachute, off to the left, so we'll come down. 
Um, and that's about it. I'll see you in the next video.